Welcome back to the Mosh Pit on Sin. That was at the top there was Blue Angels by Touche Amore, Winnebago by Ted Dancing with Wolves, and Riding by Jacob just then. Yeah, I love uh, I love Jacob. I actually know those guys. <laughs> um, That's cool. But uh, right now I've got a special guest on the line with us. It's a uh, uh, a, a, a lovely band from New Zealand called Shit Ripper, and from the band Justin. How are you, mate? Good, good. That's good to hear. Um, I I hear that you're uh, playing a couple of shows, like literally this weekend. Yeah, uh, Friday and Saturday night. So, uh, Friday's the All Age show at Randra Studios in Footscray. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you're under 18 or even over 18 come down to that one and then the other one on Saturday night is at the Bendigo which is a very confusing name because the Bendigo is actually in Collingwood <laughs> yeah. I got very confused by that when I was reading it <laughs> yeah 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 not actually in Bendigo the town no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, the, the last album Brain Defect came out uh, late 2013 or was it mid 2013 I can't remember the specific date but uh, I actually picked one up straight away I've got the 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 vinyl I think it's a green vinyl with the the shirt if I'm not mistaken I, I love yeah, that yeah. It's, it's a good record it's a absolutely uh, it's a cracker of a record yeah um, where did you guys uh, uh, record that one over in New Zealand whereabouts did you yeah um, uh friend Tom works at a music school so we used their studio to record it and he did uh, all the everything nice so. do it on the ship yeah. that's the way to go nice yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was listening to the album earlier today and I really like it like particularly short songs are good song like I, I really love the the fast kind of thing like why did you guys go for that really fast kind of song like keeping most of your songs under two minutes um, I think because we like the old hardcore style, early 80s, which, like, all the songs are, are short and just to the point. And there was a lot of bands around when we started who were all, um, you know, lo- longer songs, lots of breakdowns, that kind of thing. And we were like, uh, we want to do something different. We want to just get what we've got to say, just say it, get it done, move on to the next song. That's, that's basically it. That's the way to go. Get the message out there. Get it out quick. No yeah. no time for yeah. mucking about. Um, yeah. Uh, I This past weekend, I went to a, a bit of a hardcore festival called Break the Ice. Are you familiar with that one? Uh, yeah, I think I saw a, a poster online for it. Uh, you guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the type of uh, festival. I, I'm surprised that you guys went on the lineup this year because um, you guys have got like just the perfect sound for that for that show. It's um, uh, you know, just that aggressive, in your face, just non, no nonsense, hardcore. It's cool stuff. Mm. Yeah. Um. So. Well, if, if we can get on any festival, if anyone's listening, chuck us on. Yeah. <laughs> Put us on a festival. <laughs> That'd be the way to go. Um. Yeah. You guys, uh, uh, are you are you be playing any new songs on this tour? Have you been written right? Phew, am I am stumbling all over all over my words. Have you been writing anything new? for uh, the past couple of months or are you just sticking to yeah yeah definitely um, we've heard that kind of uh, our drummer is constantly sick and so he's um, taking a bit of a, a leave of convalescence but we've got um, the drummer from Hailgun from Melbourne nice. who's, who's drumming for us so we've been kind of uh, writing new stuff and having to like send him um, what we've done so that he can learn it and that kind of, it's been kind of a bit weird because we're not all practicing together um, but yeah we're, we're getting through it so we've got new songs anyway um, and we're trying we're getting together some to do a split with Hailgun that's the will come out this year. Uh, that is something that I'm absolutely going to pick up. I love those yeah. guys. I love Hellgun. Um, let me think. Uh, so, what... Uh, I know this is going to go back a bit a bit further than um, than just the recent time. Uh, you guys have uh, two vocalists. Uh, that's a bold choice. Mm. Um, not many bands can pull that one off. Uh, but you guys do, and you do it pretty spectacularly. I can think of only one other band that does it as well as, as you guys, and that would probably be Converge. Um... So what what's uh how did how did that come about? What what uh sort of instigated the two vocalist approach? Um we had in in the very beginning we had one vocalist, um, 
and he was around for about eight shows and then we were like oh what are we going to do now get an, a new vocalist and they were kind of like oh that'll be weird but yeah. then so what we did i played guitar and the other vocalist played bass so we just thought well, why don't we sing and we'll get try getting a new guitarist and bass player which we did so that was where it came from and it worked out for the best it's so good yeah <laughs> are you guys going to do so anything an, oh sorry after you uh, but I think the, the, the idea was to like to instead of just replacing someone to actually make it different because I hate it when you know you get a new a new vocalist and it just isn't right anymore yeah. so we, we tried to change it like that sure. um, did yeah. you, do you, are you guys going to do any more of the uh, the bad boy releases um, I don't know I actually think like with recording um, trying to record in between proper releases if if you know what I mean so mm-hmm. just keep keep putting little things out in between the big things I guess so yeah I think so that'd be cool <laughs> but you guys yeah. are so, so but you're mostly working on a new on a new like a full length or just an EP or uh, I think it's going to be a 12 inch split so I'll have yeah half half a full length each oh right yeah with the hail gun of course my okay. yeah yeah how quickly we forget <laughs> um yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but uh, uh, I think we're going to go to a song right now. Uh, it's going to be uh, short songs, a good song, because uh, I think it that's, is. That's definitely. I think that's. The, is what do you would you describe that as? Sort of like almost the motto of the band: short songs, a good song. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a cracker. It's from Brain Defect. Um, shit ripper. Uh, uh, I think uh, Justin, thanks for coming on the show and and hanging out with us for a little bit. Uh, you can go see Shit Ripper. All ages tomorrow night. Uh, it's uh, in Footscray at the Wrangler Studios. It's a great little location, 7 p.m. Or t- Saturday night at uh, the Bendigo Hotel in Collingwood, 8 p.m. Uh, is Doors. And uh, yeah, uh, who else? Who else is on the lineup? I don't even know. I sh- really should have double checked that. Now I feel like a fool. Um, uh, the Hailgun's playing as well. Oh, they are too. Uh, Caged Grave. Oh man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that the all ages show yeah. is going to go off. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, hoping to get down to that one. Lineup, so. Yeah. Oh man, um, I love Cage Grave. But anyway, <laughs> Shit Ripper, Justin, thank you again for coming on. Um, short song's a good song, and uh, you're in the mosh in pit. In mosh pit with punctured on sin, ninety point seven.